you star code PRINCESS when buying Robux or Roblox Premium. Hey Royals! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about some recent events that could change a lot in Royal High. This is so crazy, I honestly cannot believe this is happening, and I am so excited to tell you guys about it. But before we get started, I do have an exciting announcement. My very first UGC item is officially out in the Roblox catalog. It's so cute, it was modeled by Matthew Lovato on Twitter, and I am so excited that you guys are able to purchase it now. So I will link that in the description and in the pinned comment down below in case you guys are interested. But you guys, let's get started with the video. As you guys know, Royal High has a couple different aspects to the game. Some people like to roleplay, some people like to diamond farm, and some people like to level. There is a leaderboard in Royal High that ranks people based on who has the highest level. You've probably seen it before when you enter the game. And for the past couple of years, I think, it's been the same person at the top. MLP and Winx Fairy Pony. Not only does this person have a badge in Royal High, but they also have a statue in the trading hub that says number one player with their avatar on it. So you guys, this is a pretty big honor to be the best leveled player in the entire game of Royal High. But you guys, something pretty big is happening that is a little bit concerning. When I joined the game earlier, I noticed that someone is moving up quickly. Fuzzy Puppy Love 546 is only a couple levels below MLP and Wings Fairy Pony. Oh my gosh, saying these names makes me feel so dumb. They're only 287 levels away from taking their place as number one. And they're moving quickly. I don't think this person was in second place just like a month or two ago. So there's a couple things I want to talk about here. Number one, it's a little bit suspicious how fast this person is leveling up. And there was like this whole ordeal where people thought the number one player was like exploiting their levels and it was found out that they actually weren't. But this is a little bit different because they've done all these levels in like a couple months, which just does not seem likely. But I really don't know how to investigate because they don't have that many other platforms. However, I have heard people saying that their account never shuts off and it's always active in Royal High. Of course, I can't exactly prove it because I'm not active all the time to check, but I checked right now as I'm making this video and they were playing a game. And they only have 31 friends, so they're obviously not interacting with people that much. So it's possible they're exploiting or hiring people to do it for them, I don't know and I don't want to spread rumors. But either way, they're going to pass MLP and Fairy Winx Pony Unicorn. So does that mean they're going to remove the statue in the trading hub? Or like take away the number one player's badge? And is this new number one player going to get their own statue and their own badge? Guys, like this person has been number one for so long. I mean, two years ago, they posted a video on their YouTube channel where they were reaching level 3000. Like, they're an OG top player. And also, you guys, I don't really know these people personally. I don't really know, like, how they are as people. But it's possible there could be some conflict between them, maybe some competition a little bit, because it would be hard to like be number one for so long and then have someone pass you. And it's possible that they're like using exploiting techniques. So guys, this whole situation is kind of crazy. And I haven't really thought about it that much until now, but I'm just now realizing how big of a deal this is. So you guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this whole leveling drama. And of course, if you're interested, my UGC merch will be linked below. I am so excited. Thank you so much for watching. XOXO.